Hey guys, David from The Unlocker, and today I'm going to show you how you can remove all of the crappy bloatware and also do a bunch of other cool performance enhancements to your Galaxy S7 and Galaxy S7 Edge, Snapdragon, or US models. So because of the way that we root the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge, we can't actually flash custom recovery images or custom ROMs. But we can still remove all of that bloatware. And not to mention, the same script that I'm going to use in this video to do that, it's one time and it gets rid of basically everything, uh, which is really cool. It also removes some stuff from uh, the Play Store that you have on your phone because there's a lot of stuff that's been installed into the system partition, which means you can't uninstall it if you want. But this will actually remove it so that that way if you want it, you can download it as opposed to being forced to download it. What a concept. In addition to the debloating that it does, it also has some really cool performance enhancements. Uh, does things like addresses the phone getting hot, uh, has some CPU performance enhancements, and a bunch of other stuff. For a full list of all of the stuff that it does, click the link below, uh, and then click the link that takes you to the developer's page. Now without further ado, here's how to get started. First up, the phone needs to be rooted. If you aren't rooted, you need to click this link here beneath this video on my site. Head to that video and tutorial. It's not that hard to do, but do the entire thing. And once you're done, you can come back here and we can continue. Okay, so to avoid us from having some issues later on, we're going to open up the app drawer, go to Super SU, which should be installed because you did the rooting tutorial. And go to settings. Now, if you scroll down, eventually you'll see security. We're gonna make sure that enable SU during boot is turned off. Then we're gonna head to the Play Store and we're gonna download an app called Flash Fire and install that. Then on the computer, we're going to download uh, the debloater script. So we're gonna click this link here to be taken to the post on XDA. It's gonna be under recommended next steps. And then you're gonna notice that there's a bunch of different versions here. Basically it's Verizon, these two different versions for Verizon, uh, and then every other version, basically. So I have an AT&T one, so I'm gonna use this one. Now there's fixes, and then there's fixes and deep bloater. We want to do both. So I'm gonna click this link here to download that. Then we're gonna grab that zip file from wherever it downloaded to. For me, it was downloads. Plug in our device and then open it up so we can see the internal storage, which should look something like this. And we're going to not extract this, but just pull it over and copy it to the internal storage of our phone. Make sure that you don't put it in any folders just here on the root of the internal storage. It just makes it easier to find. After that, we can unplug the phone and we're going to open our Flash Fire app. Granted super user permissions. And we're going to click the plus button down here at the bottom. Flash Zipper OTA. And scroll down and we'll find our debloater.zip file. Tap that. Make sure that everything is checked off except for the mount. And we can tap the checkbox at the right. Then scroll down and hit flash. Click OK. And wait for it to do its thing. Now it will reboot a couple of times, so just let it go. Then when it finally reboots, you can go to Settings, Applications, Application Manager and see that a lot of your carrier stuff is now gone and all of those other tweaks and performance optimizations, etc., are all set. There you go, you're all set. Uh, if you have issues with this tutorial, please click the link in the description to be taken to my site and leave your questions in the comments there. I'll try to answer them as best I can and this way other people can learn from them in one location. If you like this video though, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciate it. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.